Hello and welcome back to another episode of Working on the Skyline. In today's episode we are going to be doing the engine bay, getting it all finished hopefully. Yes, the uh, last episode you see me uh, do the bits and pieces that were necessary to get the welding done, so grinding out all the rust, cutting out nice plates, putting all the crust protection stuff on it and uh, getting it closer to the point where we can weld. This one we're going to weld up, hopefully get everything done, get the whole bay prepped so it's ready to go for paint and maybe even get it in some high build primer so by the end of the episode hopefully we'll be to the point where we can then maybe get some paint on the next episode but we'll see how we go today now after the last couple of days worth of effort this is where we are at the welding is going to be done today so everything was cut out here and it's all been protected as you can see it's all changed color this is what happens with the crust uh, it goes on to horrible rusty well not rusty but horrible rust-ish looking metal and it transforms it back into good stuff so we'll grind all this up make it all nice and pretty ready for welding same on the other side other bits and pieces get this welded up and uh, make some full-blown progress today okay so we know the drill let's set the time lapse up get this thing done So that is now towards the end of the day. We have a skimmer filler on bits and pieces. Nothing major, I just wanted to go into where the spot welds are. You see all these little low points are where spot welds were. So I just wanted to throw a little bit of filler into those just to try and flat them out a little bit. I'm not gonna go like a major smooth off like I did in the uh, SIL 80. This is just gonna be a, a quick little smooth off a few little holes, nothing major. I have done the seam sealer on all the seams that need to be redone. So they're all done and looking absolutely fantastic. I am very happy with that. And there's the repairs. Brilliant. It's been a very long and hot and dirty day as you can see from my face. It's, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's been a long day. So I'm gonna leave it here for now and then we're gonna pick this back up tomorrow. So, next day. Boom, next day. Uh, it is actually very, very warm today as the weather forecast has actually got things right and it is toasty, toasty. So, good day to get the uh, high build primer on this thing today. Sealant's all gone off. Let's get things rubbed down for the last little bit, get things masked off and uh, get some high build on this.
Okay, so rather than have a montage of many time-lapse videos, I'm just gonna do the old snaparoo thing for you. A little bit awkward because my fingers hurt since I stabbed it. Okay, my right hand's hurting, so left hand clicky fingers. Nope. Ah, there we go. How much better is that? All in one cutter. Save you guys a lot of hassle, see me do various bits and pieces. Uh, the inside of the chassis legs, I'm not fussed about because they're gonna be done in uh, under sill anyway, so it makes absolutely no difference on those whatsoever, and they're in good condition, so they're fine. But as opposed to that, look at that. How much better is that? Yes, I know, I've got overspray on the column, I'm gonna have to clean it up, because it's gonna bug me. Uh, but other than that, yeah, I'm happy with that. Absolutely fine. Let's see the top mounts. There it all done. And there's that one. How much better does that look? Excellent. So, as you can see from the look on my face, I am done for the day. I've had enough. It has been a long, hot and sweaty day. So, I am out of here. Thank you very much for joining me. I'll see you again next time.